was working on top of the beams, but somebody when we hear a um, um, noise, um, the next the next gutters fell down, and we was on top, and the other three guys they fell all the way to the to the ground and. Uh, actually photographing someone who was shooting video on the bridge for a profile and uh, I was actually walking away after I'd finished photographing him um, when the bridge collapsed um, and we were up on top basically kind of looking down on the bridge um, from the Middleton from the island side um, and I was walking away from him I heard a noise I looked over and I saw the, the girder collapse, um, and it, you know, it was obviously just a few seconds it took, um, and I saw people scattering underneath, workers who were on the ground scattering um, to get away from the girder in all directions. Um, we live on, right here on the corner at First and Yacht Drive, and um, right as it happened, our whole house shook, and it um, felt like an earthquake, it was so big, it, it must have been a pretty big piece of cement because every window in our house was shaking and we knew right away something happened. My, my first reaction was just, you know, just total shock. Um, I, I, I went back up to where I'd just been because um, I, I was in the process of walking down um, and, you know, when, when something like that happens, it's just, it's a shock. Um, it, it almost sounded like a sonic boom or something, you know. And, we only, you know, we only could imagine that it was something over here, so we ran down here right away. For the number of construction workers who were there, um, I, I was just assuming that a number of them had died, um, were pinned underneath, um, just um, seeing people scatter. Um, so my first reaction was just, this is, you know, just a horrible tragedy. Uh, my friend is, uh, my other friend is under the beam, but now. But I don't know what happened. Uh -huh. He don't let me see him now, but I don't know. I think he's, he's, he passed away. He's dead.